Welcome to Painted Kids Studio, where we make amazing art videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post a new art video. Hello friends, Miss Kate here for our drawing of the day. Today we are drawing a hamster. And this is something I don't think I have ever done. I can't even believe I'm saying that because I've done like every animal. So this is um, gonna be really fun. So um, when I was drawing this, now don't get mad at me, but if you're a Pokemon fan, but I, I might be wrong on this, but the hamster, the way that I'm drawing it today, kind of reminds me of Pikachu. And I'm not really sure what animal Pikachu is, but I think he kind of looks like um, a hamster. So anyways, we will get started. I'm working with Sharpie on um, paper. You guys work with pencil at home, uh, just in case you make a mistake. So to start our little adorable hamster, I'm gonna do his body. So I'm making a really big curve like this. It's like a really big curvy letter U. And then after we have this really big curvy letter U, I'm gonna go ahead and do two teeny ears. They're not very big. And they're not like necessarily rounded or pointed. They're kind of a half and half. So they're maybe a little pointy, but they're not like cat ears. And they're not like bear ears. They're like just these little, I don't know, halfway pointy ears. And then I always like to put a little pinky middle. Whenever I do furry animals, I like to do my little, my little pinky middles to my ears. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the top of the head. If you guys want to add like a little hair or something, you can, because you know, hamsters are kind of fluffy guys. So if you want to add a little hair up there, you can, or you could just make it a smooth line. However you decide to do it, it's fine. Now, after we have the outside, now this isn't the head guys, this is like the head and the body. It's everything all in one. So the face is gonna be up here, okay? So we're kind of towards the top here. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. So first I'm gonna start with the nose. So the nose is just like a little dash. We're gonna start with just a little dash. And again, it's up here, it's not in the middle. This isn't the face, this is like the whole body. So we want our nose to be up high. And then after we have that little dash, we're gonna put a little letter V underneath it. And hamsters have little noses. There's like a little upside down triangle. And then I do my favorite swoopy, whoopy mouse. And this is kind of funny, but I like my hamster to look like he's talking. So I'm gonna do his mouth like this. And I'm gonna put a little hint of his tongue in there. And then I'm gonna color this part in black. Like that, so it looks like he's talking to us. I don't know what a hamster would be saying to us, but anyways, he's talking. And then after we have his mouth, we're gonna go ahead and put eyes on here. So the eyes are gonna be up here. And you guys know I love my little sparkles in my eyes, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put some sparkles in my eyes here. Okay, so there we go. It kinda looks like Pikachu a little bit. That's what I'm talking about, it just reminds me of Pikachu. Anyways. Um, after we have this part, I'm gonna put like a little stripe on the face just so we could add in a couple a couple colors on our hamster and not just have it all be one color. So you guys don't have to do this. If you want your whole hamster to be yellow or something, that's fine. But I'm gonna add in a little stripe. So I'm gonna start at this, this like corner of the nose here and I'm gonna jump around this eye and go off the side here. Same thing here. Jump over this eye and go kind of like off to the side. And then I'll be ready for my arms. So my hamster's arms, I'm actually gonna start like here on the side, like up here. And it's gonna be below the mouth though, because I don't want his hands to run into his face. Unless you want him like putting a cheeseburger on his mouth or something, I don't know. You can have his hand going towards his face. But I'm gonna do mine kind of like, more like holding the belly. So I'm gonna do same thing on this side, like that. And then these are the hands, and I didn't connect these all the way to the side. So I, it was like on the side here, and then it loops around to make the hands, and then I kind of stop short. I don't go all the way down here because I'm gonna add like a little color on the belly. So I'll show you what I mean in a second. But first, let's put some little paws on this guy. Okay, so he's got his little hands. And if you guys wanna put him holding something, you can put something, I don't know what hamsters eat. They eat like carrots or like bunnies? Or he could be holding like a, present or flowers or a heart or something. So you can put something in his hand. I'm not going to, but you can you can add something in there if you want. All right, so the reason why I stopped short here is I'm gonna do like a curve and go off the, the like to the bottom kind of, 
like that, so that I can add like a little extra color. So I'm gonna have some like a different color here, and then I'm probably gonna leave this area white. So um, I just like to add like a little hint of an extra color on the sides of his body. So that's why I did, did it that way. Now we need to see the feet. Now I'm having my hamster sitting with his feet up. So the way I do that is I just kind of like do this letter U like this and it's touching the bottom here. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Like that. And then I'm gonna make little toes. Three little toes, like that. And then hamsters, I think they have a tail. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little peak of a hamster tail kind of back there. And that's it. That's how I draw my little cute hamster. So I'm gonna show you guys um, how I color a hamster. So I do the tongue pink, and I do the inside of the ears pink. And again, if you guys are um, painting, um, that's fine, or if you're using markers or whatever, that's fine. Um, and if you guys don't want to do these this color, you can always do different colors. Um, I also like on hamsters to make their nose pink. I don't know if they actually have pink noses, but I like to make my hamster nose pink. And then this is why, okay, this next step, I, when, I think when I did this, this is what reminded me of Pikachu. So Pikachu has these red spots on his cheeks, and I did pink spots like this. And it seriously looks like Pikachu. Maybe this is what made it look like Pikachu. I don't know. But anyways, I put like a little pink rosy. So when I know Pikachu, I think these are red. But this is what reminds me of Pikachu. All right, so I'm gonna make my hamster kind of like a golden color, but you guys can have like a purple hamster if you want, or like a green hamster, or a blue hamster. So, um, but I'm just gonna show you where I like to put color. So I typically you leave like this big part of the, the belly and face, the middle part. I usually leave that white, but the rest of this like fur, I'm gonna go ahead and make it gold. Actually, you know what? I think I need to make those feet pink too. Because I think hamsters, they might actually have like pink feet or like skin colored feet. I might be wrong. It's been a long time since I've like had a hamster since I was little. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut. I wonder if their, their tails are pink or are they furry? I don't know. I'm gonna do my tail gold, but that might be pink too. I don't know. And I'm gonna do my feet pink. And then you guys can go ahead and put a background on this if you want. Put your hamster somewhere fun. Maybe he's like sitting at the beach or something. Maybe he's like hanging out with a bunch of hamsters. You can draw like a bunch of hamsters over here. Um, thank you guys so much for painting with me or drawing with me today. Um, I'm, keep, I'm gonna keep posting these videos every day until we go back to school, which is a really long time away now. Um, but I'm gonna be on here posting new drawing videos every day at 1 p.m. So I hope to see you guys again tomorrow.